Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region, we are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm Bob Huggins. Relatives of the Oma bomb victims are expected to renew their call for a public independent inquiry into the real IRA atrocity and the cross-border investigations into it. Amnesty International has backed the call. 29 people, including a mother with unborn twins, were killed in the car bomb attack on the 15th of August 1998. Later today, the families will release parts of a report commissioned three years ago into the investigations on both sides of the border. They say they presented it to the British and Irish governments over a year ago, but so far there's been no response. Police investigating the sudden deaths of a man and a woman in Listener Ski this week arrested four men yesterday evening. Olivia Riley was found dead on Sunday evening. Noel Riley was discovered 24 hours later at a house a mile away. The four men, two aged 28, one aged 18 and one aged 32, were arrested on suspicion of possession of Class A drugs and supply of Class A drugs. The Minister for Regional Development, Danny Kennedy, has visited a new wastewater management site in Tyrone. The treatment works at Drum Key near Dungannon uses what's called willow technology to filter the wastewater. Willow branches are used in the process. And one other story for Manor District Council is said to be weighing up its options over a vacant school property in Kesh. The council agreed in May to buy the sports grounds at the Duke of Westminster School, but would not agree to the purchase of the buildings. Councillors felt the valuation was too high, but this week it's emerged that an economic appraisal will be carried out. The long-term plan could see the council work in partnership with the Cash Development Association to create a recreational facility. Well, that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.